Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's a trill, and I got my Blaze Z Max here by ZTE, and we gotta see if it's worth it in 2018. I'm getting notifications on Instagram. Hey, Madison. But yeah, let's get into it. So yeah, I had it for a little bit now, and I know people are still interested in this phone, so I want to let y'all know if it's still worth it or not. So let's get into this thing then. So let me go ahead and talk about my experience. Yeah, I'm going to get right into it. The battery. It says 16% now, but look how long it took to get there. Four days. Wait, oh God, four days. The screen wasn't on for very long, which, yeah, obviously that's going to make it four days. But the standby on here is crazy on here. It doesn't even make sense. Obviously, there was some screen on time and Wi-Fi and still standby and all that using up the battery, but it took four days to kill it. It's still at 16%. It's not done yet, so it's still going. Like, I'm really feeling the batteries on here. So you got a 4,080 milliamp hour battery, and I think the Note 9 got like 4,000 or something like that. So it's one up in the Note 9. This is like 100 bucks. But yeah, battery, don't got a problem with that. It's all good. And literally, as I just said that, I got the battery low notification, so funny. Next is the call quality. So I actually have T-Mobile, not Metro by T-Mobile or Metro PCS, how it's still called on here, but I got T-Mobile, the postpaid one. The one with T-Mobile Tuesdays and all that. So yeah, that's what I use on here. And the call quality sound good on here, so I don't got no complaints with that. The cell signal's good. Everything's good on here, so... You don't, you're not going to have no problems with that. Same with texting somebody, which obviously use cell signal, so no problems with that. And you got Wi-Fi calling on here, so if you didn't have service, you can just use the Wi-Fi calling. Next is the build quality on here. Next. Next is the performance on here. So the performance on here ain't had no problems with it, ain't no lag on here. It's buttery smooth, going through the menus and all that, opening apps. I ain't got no problems with it. I got a problem with Facebook, like where I got some lag on there for a couple of things, but like I ain't tripping about that, and you shouldn't either, because it's not going to affect it. Like it was worse before, but check this out. Yeah, you see the delay, right? It's just something small, so like I said, that's why I'm not tripping about it. Next is the actual OS on here. So it's actually on Android 7.1.1, so I doubt we're ever going to see an update ever again in our lives. So it's on August 1, 2018 security patch, so yeah, ZT doesn't do a good job of updating their phones. So you still got the old software here, gotten, is that a word? You still got the old software on here, it's not really old, but like it's getting old, so... That's what we got right now, and it's on stock Android, basically. I don't see any ZTE modifications here, so it's pretty cool. Seems like it's just pretty much stock Android here, and I don't see any icon changes or anything, so that's ZTE. And like I said, it's smooth. Stock Android doesn't really have problems with lag or anything like that, but it, yeah, it's cool on here. Next is the speakers on here, so I can't really speak on that. No pun intended. Maybe it was, but probably not. No, it wasn't. So, yeah, um, you see this in here, right? It's something in the speaker. I don't know what it is, but when I got this phone, that's how it was. So I didn't buy or anything, but that's just how it was. See, so yeah, speakers on here, I can't really say anything about it because it sounds distorted and I miss calls sometimes because it's so quiet because there's something in the speakers. But Tech Right said this speakers on here is pretty good, so I wouldn't doubt them. So shout out to Tech Right. Next is the camera. So I'm not going to say much about this. Just go ahead and check out these samples that I did. Like the quality is pretty meh. It's average and the bokeh effect isn't all that. But it's, I mean, it's good though. Like I'm not going to say somebody's going to make fun of you. They might, but I don't think they will. So camera is, it's all right. Next is the screen out here. So it's a 1920 by 1080 resolution. So it's a 1080p screen at 16 by nine. But this was something I was like, okay, CT, I see y'all. Like this, this is not a bad screen. This is actually pretty good for this price. Like the screen out here, you're not going to be disappointed with this. Like the screen out here looks really Really nice so i don't got no complaints with that it's 16 by 9 it's not 18 by 9 but i think zt is gonna have newer phones that come out this year with 18 by 9 i don't know if they will but that's just my assumption since you know it's 2019 now so we'll see but yeah the blazy max got a pretty good screen it's an ips lcd screen but it's still a good screen like you're not gonna get amoled or anything but yeah like i don't have any complaints about that so the screen is good all is good you're gonna like your youtube video especially mine yeah yeah you know you like them and your netflix and whatever else you watch hulu myspace videos i don't know what you watch daily motion like i watch daily motion sometimes i'm not gonna lie but yeah so screen out here is good i say that because i'll put my finger on here sometimes and it won't even work and i'll put it on here enough times where it'll actually lock me out not to put my pin in so fingerprint scanner could be better it's fast though but 
it's the accuracy. Is that even a word? Probably not, but the accuracy on here is not good. I unregistered it and registered it I don't know how many times and it still doesn't work right. Like, I, I just think the fingerprint scanner isn't that good though. I don't know how the ZTE Blade View is. I assume it's better, but the fingerprint scanner on here is not the best. See, like when I put it on here, of course it's gonna work fine while I'm doing the video. Like this is a video, like everything goes great while I'm doing the video, but it doesn't work all the time. So would I recommend this in 2019? The answer you getting is no, nah, don't get it. There's better phones out there. There's even better ZTE phones out there. You can check out TechRite's videos on that, like in the Blade View, I think that's what it's called, and some other phones, so don't get this. Even Motorola is coming out with the new G7s, which I will be getting, so don't get this. That's I'm not going to tell you to get this. Still a good phone, but like it's not the best out there you could get for this price. So that's pretty much all I got for y'all. But yeah, y'all, that was pretty much it for me. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. If y'all got any questions, you know what to do. Leave it in the comments below. I'll respond. But that was pretty much it. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. And peace out.